All right, everybody, I'm super excited about today's Brick Bible because we are going to read all about Christmas, the very first time there was a Christmas. It was the day that Jesus was born. That's why we celebrate Christmas. Okay, everyone, say, Holy Spirit, teach me the Word of God. This is how Jesus Christ came to be born. God sent the angel Gabriel to a town in Galilee called Nazareth. To a virgin engaged to a man named Joseph, who was descended from King David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel came to her and said, Greetings, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Mary was troubled by his words and wondered what this sort of greeting might mean. The angel said to her, Listen, and you will become pregnant and give birth to a child. You will name him Jesus. Mary said to the angel, How can this happen if I have not yet lain with a man? The angel answered, The Holy Ghost will come upon you. And the angel left her. Shortly afterward, Mary got up and hurried off to the hill country. She entered the house of Zechariah, the priest, and greeted his wife Elizabeth. Mary said, My soul exalts the Lord in praise. He has wrought mighty deeds with his arm. He has scattered the proud and arrogant. He has cast down rulers from their thrones. And has raised up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things. And sent the rich away with nothing. Mary remained with Elizabeth for about three months and then returned home. Mary was found to be pregnant by the Holy Ghost. Being an upright man and not wanting to disgrace her in public, Joseph decided to leave Mary quietly. But an angel appeared to him in a dream, saying, Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The child in her is of the Holy Ghost. About this time, Caesar Augustus ordered a census of the entire Roman Empire. So everyone went to their hometowns to be registered. Because he was a descendant of King David, Joseph set out from Nazareth to the town of Bethlehem to register with his pregnant fiance Mary. It happened while they were there that the time came for her to deliver her child, and Mary gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were some shepherds out in the nearby fields, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And an angel of the Lord appeared before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. The shepherds were terrified. But the angel said, Don't be afraid. Listen, a Savior has been born to you today who is Christ the Lord. Here is your sign. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, laying in a manger. Suddenly, a multitude of the heavenly hosts was there with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men he favors. So the shepherds left in a hurry. And they found Mary and Joseph, and the baby was lying in the manger. Having seen the baby, the shepherds made known what they had been told about this child, and all who heard it marveled at the things that the shepherds told them. After eight days passed, it was time for the child to be circumcised, and he was given the name Jesus. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in the days of King Herod, some magi from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who was born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose, and have come to do him homage. When Herod the king heard about this, he was disturbed, as well as all of Jerusalem with him. Gathering together all the chief priests and experts on the law of Moses, King Herod asked them where the Messiah was to be born. They said to him, At Bethlehem in Judea, just as it was written by the prophet. Then King Herod summoned the Magi. He sent them off to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search for the young child. When you have found him, let me know, so that I may also go and do him homage. Having listened to the king, the Magi set off. The star that they had seen rising went on before them until it came to a stop over the place where the child was. They came into the house and saw the young child with his mother Mary. They bowed down and did him homage. Opening their treasures, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But the Magi were warned in a dream that they should not return to the King Herod. And so they traveled back to their own country by a different route. Wow, isn't that amazing? God sent angels to help make sure that Jesus was okay. Let's pray. Say, God, thank you for sending Jesus. Help me to remember that the greatest gift was given from God on the first Christmas. In Jesus' name, amen.